Hey what's up my baby G's, it is me Manisha and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today I'm in a different location, I'm just in my uni house kitchen and today as sort of a break from uni life and all things stressful, I'm going to be making oat chocolate chip protein cookies. So I'm really 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 excited to basically make these I've kind of got all my ingredients set out I look like a pro I even went early in the morning to get measuring cups so I'm definitely not your pro baker here but I thought it'd be a little fun addition to my channel hopefully it will show you that if I can do it then you definitely can do it because I have had quite a few baking disasters in the past. This recipe is definitely inspired by graceandgoodeats.com. I'm kind of manipulating her, manipulating? That's the wrong word. Tampering? Tweaking. I'm tweaking her recipe ever so slightly. Um, this is probably how half my bakes go wrong because I tend to tweak people's recipes and I should just follow it to the T, but I've added my own little twist on it. Um, I think she made milk chocolate kind of cookies and I wanna make like chocolate, like full on chocolate protein cookies. So hopefully that will work. <laughs> Set myself quite the task here, but we're gonna go for it. So it says to preheat your oven to 350 degrees, but because my oven is in Celsius, I'm just going to kind of preheat it to 175 Celsius to be exact. So let's get started. So the first thing it says to do in the recipe is grind one cup of oats. Um, these are oat cookies. I actually prefer them. This is where it all begins. To fall apart. Okay, so I got my one cup of oats and I'm going to put it into my blender or grinder. And we're just going to put the lid on on that. grind away. Lovely. Ooh. The consistency it's at is this really fine kind of OT consistency, but it should leave a kind of flour residue on your hands, which should be clean. We're taking these oats, we want to add it into a small bowl. And then to our grounded up oats, you want to add one cup of normal porridge oats. I'm just going to put this in there and then we'll deal with that. Ooh. <laughs> Already going everywhere. This is so classic of me. This is so classic. So to my oats, I want to add a quarter cup of protein powder. Um, I got mine from myprotein.com. I've always got mine from myprotein.com. And I've just got the Impact Whey Protein in a chocolate brownie flavour. So let's add it to our mix. I've got a heavily filled quarter cup of protein powder that I'm going to add into our mix. Next to our dry mix, we're going to add one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Like so. And we're gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of salt, but I'm just gonna crank it in and kind of eyeball it. That should be enough. So our final ingredient that we're gonna add into our dry mix is cocoa powder and we're gonna add four tablespoons of this into our delicious mix. Woo! That is some rich cocoa powder. So one, two, three, and 
And last but not least, four tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay, so this is our dry mix done and we're just gonna put that to one side and move on to the wet ingredients. We're first gonna start off by putting a third cup of olive oil into our mix. So I've got my third cup measurement, my olive oil. And we're just gonna fill that to the top. <laughs> just spilling it everywhere. And I'm just gonna add that into my bowl. It's classic, it's just so classic. Mmm, oily tables. That's nice. We're next going to be adding a half cup, cup? A half cup? <laughs> half cup of granulated sugar into our wet mix. Don't spill, don't spill, don't, oh, it's spilled. Why do people do this so neatly on shows? That was close. Next up, we're going to crack one large egg into our mix. Lovely. And last but not least, we're going to be adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract into our wet ingredients. Smells so good. Taking our whisk attachment, yes, it's a two in one. I love this thing. We're just gonna kind of, uh, this is where it's gonna go wrong. This, yeah, might shuffle a bit closer to the plug. But we're just gonna kind of whisk together the ingredients. Is an electric wick? I mean, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. I might stand up for this process. Very intense. Yeah, let's maybe try like mix it up a bit first. We'll just figure it out along the way. We'll add some of the dry ingredients to it. Ooh, yeah. And then we're gonna try and mix it. hand whisk. <laughs> I'm too far into this now. I have to stick with the whisk. I just have to. This is so... No. Okay, so I found this thingy which seems to... I feel like this would work with the mixing process. I'll give you a close-up. Why am I like this? Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go in with my hands. They are indeed clean. Yeah, 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 that works so much better. I'm gonna kind of just knead it together. I'm really just improvising here. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, they're looking pretty good right now, they really are. So this is kind of our final dough. I'm just gonna go a bit closer and hope to God I don't drop this. Okay, so that is our current mixture. It looks a bit like shit, if I'm honest, but that's what it's meant to look like because it's chocolate flavored. Ta-da! Oh my God, I literally just forgot the main ingredient to this mix. Chocolate chips. Add as many as you like to your mix. It's gonna be great. Okay, so now it's time for things to get a little bit messy, but fun. Um, we're gonna kind of roll our mixture into balls and place it onto our baking mats and then place it in the oven. There's one cookie ball. There's a lot of mix. Let's see how much cookies these make. Oh no, oh no. It might be better to do that there. have 
added a touch too many chocolate chips, but in my history, that's never been a problem. So take it as you will. Some will say that's a mistake. Some will say that's just a good effort. Okay, so now these are going to go into our preheated oven for 10 minutes and then we'll check on them and see when they're done. touch longer because these are quite fat cookies. Okay so that looks a lot better. I put them in the oven because of how fat they were for two minutes extra than the total time said. Assume that's because I made my cookies so fat um, but like I said this is a trial and error process and we're in this together so stay with me. So the cookies are out of the oven when they were coming out um, I panicked because they were soft. Um, who knew cookies are actually meant to be soft when they come out of the oven? Um, but I think they actually baked perfectly. So I put them in the oven for 12 minutes in total and I let them cool down properly for about 10 to 12 minutes. And then now we've got, mm, oh wait, sorry. I'm meant to be doing this taste test on camera. So now we have this gorgeous little cookie. This is the smallest one because um, I'm scared they're gonna be really rich, but let's taste it and see. No, it's not rich at all. Yes recipe inspo and everything that you need will be in the description box below and yeah I think that's it so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very shortly in my next video bye guys